Well, the courting and dating process sure has changed a lot. It used to be a call, now it's a text, it used to be a dinner date, now it's like a meet up with friends. The process is complicated and local singles are feeling the pain. Yes, yeah, so we are kicking off a special series on modern dating this week and today we focus on millennial dating. Boy meets girl, boy calls girl, boy and girl go to dinner, girl wonders if boy will call for a second date. Now it's girl and boy both swipe left and left again and left again. Boy and girl see each other, both swipe right. Girl agrees to meet boy with friends in a public place for a cup of coffee. Boy and girl have fun. Girl wonders if boy will text within the hour. It is a tough world out there. Like you don't want someone who's gonna ghost you after like a couple weeks. Sharing snaps, incessant texting, online dating, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, these are the norm in the modern dating world. In the past, there's the pressure to physically go out and meet someone, whereas now, dating apps and websites have become so popular that essentially you can find a soulmate online. It's as easy as shopping for an outfit. It's supposed to be a lot easier to use a dating app or meet someone online, um, but I think we still want that connection face-to-face -face as opposed to meeting through Tinder or on Instagram first. And this is where the divide between older millennials and younger millennials comes in. The younger set wants to meet face to face through a friend at a party. I'm not a big online dating kind of guy. I don't use dating apps. I'm, I'm actually super old school. I'd rather meet you in person. Mm -hmm. I get to know you that way. Older millennials are oftentimes busier with their careers, so they prefer online dating. Millennials on average are spending up to 10 hours per week on dating apps. And this can be hard too. Experts say that it can lead to a tremendous amount of unhappiness because of the options that dating apps provide. The courting process is totally different. It's a lot of like group settings and not so much one-on-one -on -one at the beginning and more like texting, not calling and like following each other on Instagram. Playing hard to get though is still a thing. I'm gonna wait like 30 minutes to respond or you know wait 20 minutes to open their Snapchat or something like that. The big takeaway, many millennials are still traditional but in a more modern way. Uh, I like to take somebody out to dinner, uh, grab a few glasses of wine and kind of just really get to understand somebody. Millennials say, still say that they strongly desire to eventually get married. Now they're putting that off and making that a choice later in life because they're trying to finish their education, get established in their careers. And I just want to mention Mr. Herrera is single. He was in my story and he's part of the Friends of Literacy Bachelor Auction coming up in March, March 29th. Wow. You, you don't need a, a site. You just need Abby to <laughs> well, announce it on air. He's part of the, the, the bachelor auction to benefit Friends of Literacy, which is yeah. cool. That's coming up in March.